Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are in the middle of May, up here in the North Country. Smallmouth season is just like full bore. Whether you're fishing the Great Lakes, which are maybe a little bit behind some of the inland lakes, uh, or you're fishing the rivers or the natural lakes, the smallmouth fishing right now is full bore. We've got uh, the fish just kind of starting to get on beds, but you've got tons of fish in pre-spawn mode. Like I said, a few spawners, and you know, within the next couple of weeks, we're gonna have post-spawn fish. And this is one of my favorite times to fish for smallmouth. It's one of the best times to catch a trophy smallmouth, and that's one of the things I love to do is chase trophy-sized smallmouths. Um, I truly believe that we're going to have a world record smallmouth caught sometime in the not too distant future. You know, I feel like that largemouth uh, record is maybe unattainable, or at least there's only really a few lakes that have the potential to kick out that fish. And that's worldwide now at this point. The smallmouth, on the other hand, man, I could rattle off a pile of lakes just in Wisconsin alone where you know i do think you've got potential for a state record for sure and potentially a world record as well it's just amazing and you know it's not just the wisconsin area the entire north country and the smallmouth fisheries down south places like pickwick and wheeler i mean the tva the the tennessee river is kicking out some absolute giant smallmouth right now but the great lakes all across the board it just seems like the smallmouth as a whole the, the size is getting better. You know, it's not unheard of now on a lot of places to have 30 pound bags of fish caught. The Sturgeon Bay Open was last weekend and I think it was one with uh, right around 52 pounds for two days. So you're looking at, you know, over a five pound average and that's low for that tournament. Like you normally, it takes about 30 pounds a day to win that tournament. So it's just a great time to get out and fish. You know, your two best times to catch a trophy smallmouth are pre-spawn or late fall. Those are by far the two best periods. And the thing I love about smallmouth is I don't personally think you need a whole ton of equipment. You know, for this time of year, I think there's, a, there's really three main baits, four main baits, I would say, but three that I really, really like to, to capitalize on. You know that's going to catch you all the fish you want to you want to catch right now in the spring and pre-spawn and post-spawn period <clears throat> and that's what i want to talk about today guys if you're going smallmouth fishing you need to have these three baits tied on and these are really the three you could get away you know with just these three and you'd be fine all day long so what are they all right so the first one guys is a black marabou jig. Now I tie my own jigs myself, but there are a lot of good jigs that are made right now. I'll put down in the description, I'll put the link to a few of them. Um, there's something about a black marabou jig, and I'm gonna do a whole separate video on how to fish a marabou jig, but there's something about this bait that smallmouth cannot resist, especially in the uh, early pre-spawn period. It's a cold water bait. It's a year round bait, but cold water bait for sure. Catches numbers and giants, and it's a super easy bait to use. I think that the biggest issue with this is people overwork the bait. And again, I'm gonna do a whole separate video on this, but you gotta have yourself a marabou jig. So that's the first thing. The next one is you gotta have some sort of uh, you know, small Ned Brig bait. This is the Z-Man Finesse TRD. There's a lot of other ones on the market that are good as well. I really prefer this one. What if the chickens jumped out of the box? Did you get them? You gotta go get them and put them back in. <laughs> the next bait is some sort of Ned Rig. This is the Z-Man Finesse TRD. This is the one that I really have, have found to like for a couple of reasons. One, it's buoyant, so it stands up better, and I really like that. And two, it just seems to last really long. You put it on the hook, and it's it just it holds up better than a lot of other plastics. Uh, and I've had the best luck as a whole with this. 
I have I've, I've had some other good days with like Robo Worms got a, a smaller Ned Rig style bait. I don't know the name of it offhand, but you got to have some sort of small worm. You know, I'll I'll throw uh, I'll take a Berkeley General and cut it down into like a three inch chunk. Uh, Yamamoto makes a three inch Senko. You got to just have some little Ned Rig bait. There is something about this that will drive smallmouth crazy when you put it in front of them. It's a do nothing bait. It like has no motion at all. And it's one of those things you throw it out there, the smallmouth will come find it and they'll eat it. So you got to have some sort of Ned Rig. <clears throat> the last is a small swim bait. This is the uh, Berkeley Power Swimmer. If you've got some of the Kitek, uh, like 2.8, 3.3, 3.8, the Berkeley Power Swimmer are the same way. Those are my two favorite small swim baits. I put them on a Dirty Jigs, Matt Stuff, and Guppy Head. And, you know, that bait will catch fish all over the place and, like, all day long. It's a, it's a great bait for numbers and a great bait to catch a giant. Um, <clears throat> so those three baits, guys... Those are what you're looking for. Those all you need, really. I mean, yes, you can put on a jerk bait. You can work in top waters. You can work on other small plastics. But in my opinion, those three baits are all you need when you're chasing smallmouth. And the cool thing about it is you're really going to work those baits in all the same areas. This time of year, those fish are going to start getting on flats, uh, the spawning flats. If you've got a little bit of rock, a little bit of sand, maybe some new weeds coming up, some good rock transition zones. That's where those fish are gonna be, anywhere from 14 feet up to, you know, three foot. But really the zone that I like to concentrate on is like that six to 10 foot range. It just seems like that's a really good spawning range, but that's a good feeding range as well. So these fish will get up there and just start cruising those flats. And this time of year is the time to catch those giants, like I was saying. Pick up any three of those baits. They'll all work roughly in the same area. What I really like to do is throw the small swim bait first on the guppy head and cover a lot of water because I can cover water faster with that until I start getting bit. When, <clears throat> when you get bit, that's when I like to slow down with the Ned Rig or a Marabou Jig, because those are much slower presentations. But generally, if you catch one smallmouth this time of year, there's a lot more there. You know, you can really sit in one spot and catch a lot of fish uh, to the point where you just don't even know where they're coming from. It's like they just keep coming to you. So guys, get yourself some of these baits. I've got links uh, in my description. To, to find some of the baits if you're interested in purchasing some. But if you're headed to the North Country right now, this is the time of year to catch a giant smallmouth, time of year to catch numbers of smallmouth, and these three baits are all you need, guys. You keep it simple and you will do just fine. So thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, hit that like button, uh, share it on your social media pages, subscribe to the channel, and we got new videos coming out every day. Thanks for watching, guys.